100 dice. Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is our 10th video in our series, nerddice.com, where we build a web application using Ruby on Rails 7 for tabletop role playing game management. And we are starting on our epic on user authentication. So we, in our previous video, kind of talked through uh, that we're going to use device for this and why and some of the risks associated with it, but um, kind of providing an overview of this set of videos. So in this one, we're going to move our issue into in progress and we're going to install the, um, the gem and then run the, the install section here on the, um, on the getting started section here. So the current version of Devise is 4.8.1, and because it's not really stable, in, like it doesn't really work with Rails 7 and Turbo in its current state, I'm going to put the pessimistic constraint on that when I install it, even before going to production, because we're going to throw in some tweaks that we'll have to remove when we upgrade to a version that supports Turbo natively. So we'll go in, make sure we're on main here. We are. So we'll check out an epic branch here. Epic user off. And then we will think yeah here I'm, I'm not going to check out individual um, feature branches for each um, one of these subtasks that we do I'm just gonna make the commits onto the epic branch and then merge the epic branch into the um, into the main branch um, in future epics we might go a different um, a different choice here, but that's kind of what I'm going to do as a default working assumption for this. So we've got our user off branch here. We've got our install device into the. So we're going to go into our gem file here. I'll put it. After J Builder, and then we will provide the it's four point eight point one. Let's make sure I got that correct. Yes, 4.8.1, save that, do a bundle install. And we can see that we've added in I guess we've we've already got device 4.8.1 installed on the the version here. Yeah, 3.1.2, and we've got device now being used for this. So we'll see. We've added in bcrypt as a dependency, or m adapter, rail ties. Um, which you've already got uh, responders, warden. Um, so that's what we, that's kind of what device uses under the hood for its stuff here. And then we're going to run Rails generate device install. Make sure I run it from the bin version. It, shouldn't really matter in this case. So 
we've got our warnings here that come up so depending on your applications configurations and manual setup may be required uh, we need default URL options um, here an action mailer default URL options kind of providing some information about uh, these things we need a defined root URL to something um, so that will we'll need to do in order to actually do anything implementing this and then we need to have flash messages in our application layout or some partial involved in there so um, and then we can copy the devised views which we'll, we'll probably wind up doing but not not yet so I think this take a look at our status here so we've got changes to our gem file and gen file dot lock and then we've got um, a an initializer file and a locale file for devise so let's take a look at those um, we'll make modifications to them in the next video but we can at least see what was generated here so we've got the locale file which gives you kind of YAML for these things here um, kind of all the, the different device um, messages that occur as part of the gem eventually we might do something like at least providing a, a pirate locale so that you can um, so that we teach a little bit of the Rails internationalization. Um, but as of right now, we'll just stick with English and kind of keep to um, a minimal feature set for the time being. And then the initializers here, devise. I don't need this frozen string literal. Um, so we've got our devise config here. There's a lot of stuff here that will go through some in the next actually I'll, I'll keep the the exact generated version of this um, in the as its own commit and then we'll do our tweaking to it um, going forward here so um, kind of provides comments here uh, we'll be able to read the, the part of keeping this its own commit is that we'll have this commit in our history so if you want to go in and read these comments about all these different things we can take a look at them and then that's what we've got there we want to make sure that we didn't break anything from a rubocop standpoint and we do have layout line length too long okay so yeah I guess we'll, we'll can Yeah, we'll do the quote conversions here. All right, so we've got these two comment lines that are too long and we'll just for right now since we're not actually going to use these lit this literal anyway we can just shorten these down we'll make these part of our rails uh, credentials file in a subsequent um, 
story there. So we've got another one later on. Rerun Rubocop. So that that part there, we didn't keep exactly as it was generated, but I think we're good now. And so we will um, take a look at our git status. We will, all of these items can be added here. And then we will do our commit. I'll pause and write my message. All right, so we've got our commit message. Close that out. We will push to our epic branch. Oops. So on our branch now, we should see the action running. We'll assume that this will be successful. So I'm going to go into the issue here and edit it. And if I change this blank space here to an X, you can see in the preview it checks that as being complete. And then back to our action, we'll pause and let that complete. And our build has been successful. We'll go into the project here and move our issue subtask to done and we'll pick it up in the next video where we'll do some configuration of device want to create your own ruby gem but don't know where to start code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the nerd dice project we'll configure and publish the gem use github actions to trigger builds and tests and create magic methods with ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice all while using a test driven approach Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.